Hey YouTubers, so welcome to Healthy Hair Vittles again. Um, today I'm actually going to be washing my hair and showing you my regimen, but it's going to be slightly different because today I'm actually going to blow dry my hair, straighten it, and try the split ender mender for the first time and do a review on that. So hopefully it will work well. I'm very excited about that. So today I am going to co-wash my hair. I only co-wash my hair and I use Suave Coconut. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm actually going to show you the process in just a moment. Um, and then my, after I co-wash my hair, I um, normally would then seal my hair with castor oil. This is the castor oil I swear by. It actually um, has helped to really thicken my hair and grow my hair very long, I feel like. I've seen such a huge difference between last year and this year in my hair. And my edges just thickened up a lot. Like there were a lot of areas I was working on in castor oil. I think really helped it thrive. So usually I do three capfuls of castor oil, this three capfuls of this castor oil, and then I take an equivalent of one capful of a mixture of oils and put them in. And the mixture that I use is my olive oil, my jojoba oil, hope you can see that, um, avocado oil, and my sweet almond oil and my vitamin E oil and the way that I get the oils is I usually use a dropper you know I can just get like a couple of drops or you know a, a, I guess a drop full a dropper full of each oil and that makes up the other cap full um, and then I add my essential oils which are lavender rosemary and usually peppermint um, I can't find my peppermint. Um, I use essential oils because the castor oil can have like an interesting smell and the essential oils will cut it and you won't be able to smell it at all and it smells wonderfully and they're also very good for your hair. Uh, the peppermint helps to like stimulate your um, scalp for hair growth and everything. Um, <clears throat> the reason that I cut the castor oil with the other oils is that the castor oil can be a little tacky and so like sticky like honey so if you cut it it will just be smooth like regular oil. Um, so anyway, I like using a variety of oils because each of the oils that I use have different hair um, nutritional values that your hair needs, you know. And so, you know, if I don't have all of them, sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll just do castor oil and olive oil or castor oil and jojoba oil. But I always use castor oil to seal my hair as part of the base. Um, I won't be sealing my hair today because I'm actually going to be blow drying it out and then I'll put my heat protectant in, which, oh, my heat protectant that I use is Silk Elements, the Mega Silk. Um, I think I got that from Sally's. So um, I'll, I won't be putting the oil in because I'll blow dry it out, put the heat protectant in and then flat iron. The deep conditioner I use um, is my Curl Ecstasy, I'm making sure this is the right one, yes. It's the Curl Ecstasy. I love this deep conditioner, so essentially I, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, because my hair is in sections. So essentially I'm gonna take this section down, I'm gonna wet it right now, and then slather it with the Suave, and detangle it very gently, and then I'll twist it back up. And when I wash my hair, I wash my hair all twisted up, because I don't want it to retangle. And then I co-wash with the Suave, I get in between the parts, with my scalp and everything and get it clean. And then I get out and I actually um, blot dry the sections and I untwist it and I put on the leave-in conditioner, a couple of pumps each section and work that in gently. I don't have to recomb through it because it's already detangled. And then I seal it with oil and do my hairstyle. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started. Let me get a water bottle. Um, so. That's my regimen for right now, so if you guys uh, want to stay tuned, I'll actually show you in the next video how I actually wash my hair. I hope that's helpful. As I use the products, it'll probably be clearer as to what I actually do, but that's my staple. Very clean, very simple. Oh, one other thing is in the heavier, colder months, I seal with, um, I, actually, I also use the shea butter in my hair, which I will also add a lot of times my coconut oil to which I love, the new Tiva. And you guys get the stuff online, you know, if you can, because sometimes you can find it cheaper. So anyway, that's it for the products that I actually use. Oh, I forgot to show you the combs. 
my Denman brush, which I don't really use this as much for detangling as I do for curl definition. So if I'm doing a hairstyle and I really want my curls to be zingy and coily and very pretty and defined, I'll use the Denman. Other than that, for detangling, I use a wide tooth comb, this one, and sometimes I go to this one. I like the 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 comb, what are these tentacles, or whatever they're called, to be wide apart. Um, I am going to try um, a comb my girlfriend recommended because it's actually seamless. And, you know, these combs have probably a tiny seam on it. But the seamless combs don't take any hair out. So I'm going to get that comb and try it. And I'll review it for you and let you guys know how it works. So anyway, that's all um, for the regiment section. Stay tuned to the next video for my actual process of how I wash my hair. Thanks, guys. Peace out.